Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We're back after a week away due to the social media boycott last week. Uh, yeah, that was something I kind of wanted to participate in along with many other athletes and uh, organisations to kind of take a stand against not only online abuse, but abuse in general. Since then, we've actually uh, surpassed our goal of 500 subscribers on the channel. So we're out here today to create something and celebrate that achievement. So. You'll learn a little bit more about that as we get into the ride but yeah thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel so far i really appreciate your support and i uh, hope you've been enjoying the videos and i've got some pretty exciting videos coming up in the next few weeks we've got some exciting news to do with the tour of britain and also uh, i'll have a new bike to show you guys very soon so yeah stay tuned for them and if you don't want to miss them then do subscribe so i suppose we better get on with the ride today and tell you guys a little bit more about what we'll be up to and uh, yeah, what I've got in mind for today's video. So let's roll. So over the last few days when I've been out riding, it's all been about dodging the rain clouds and uh, trying to stay dry, but today it looks like we've got away with it. The skies are looking a little bit brighter and there doesn't seem to be too much rain about. So some of you still might be wondering what am I actually doing out here today in the video to celebrate the 500 subscriber mark and uh, as I said a little earlier we'll be creating something today so if you've ever heard of Strava art basically you could kind of make an image or a number with, uh, with your own route out on the road so that's what I'm going to attempt to do today and I wonder if you can guess what number it is. Not only that, but as some of you viewers that have uh, watched the channel before may know, I like to share something educational every once in a while. I like to share my knowledge and some tips with you guys. So throughout the ride, I'll be sharing my top five tips to young up and coming cyclists that are kind of making their way up in the sport. And also people that are new to cycling and kind of maybe picking up the bike for the first time. So stay tuned for them. Look at that, the things you do. Things you do for a bit of content. We're almost at the furthest part of the, the ride today. A few obstacles to get around there, but we're almost there. And then be doing a U-turn and coming right back down the same way. And the first one of those Tom's tips, and this goes for bike riders of all ages, all abilities, just go out there and have fun because if you're not having fun, then really what's the point in doing it? Especially if you're, you're young and you know, you've got the chance to try other sports that you may enjoy a little bit more. Um, yeah, don't, don't stress about it if you're not enjoying it and just go out when you want to go out. So on to tip number two, and as for you guys and girls that may be enjoying the bike, maybe a little bit too much. And that is uh, not to overdo it, not to do too much training when you're, when you're still young. Because, uh, yeah, it's, at the end of the day, it's probably not going to be that good for you. And if you're racing already, then uh, there'll be short races. So, yeah, don't overdo it. Dig yourself into a hole. Because, yeah, there's more harm than good to be done with that. And uh, that actually brings me on to point number three. And that is rest. So, uh you may have heard the saying before, rest is best. And that's usually because it is, because if you are going out doing training, then you want to make sure you're getting the right rest to make sure you're fully recovered, not only for your next session, but you're avoiding illness, you're avoiding injury. And uh, yeah, you're just generally looking after yourself well. So tip number four is to try and maintain a healthy, well-balanced diet on and off the bike. So. If you're out on your bike, don't be having gels and stuff on training rides because they'll only rot your teeth. Try and keep to as many natural foods as possible. For example, bring in banana or malt loaf or something like that when you go training and try and stick to water as well. But obviously, if you have done a big ride and uh, you've earned a big 
massive pizza and a bag of Haribo, then uh, enjoy that as well because that's all part of it. Treat yourself, but um, yeah, try and keep the foods as natural as possible would be my, my tips on that one. So just to squeeze the fifth and final tip in before I think we're going to get wet. The fifth one is do not fear failure. You're better off taking a risk or taking a chance on something that might not work than uh, yeah, not trying it at all and you might surprise yourself. And that not only applies in bike racing but also in life in general. So yeah, that's my five tips for you guys today. I was just about to tell you all how beautiful the weather had been all morning. But um, yeah, hopefully it stays that way and this, uh, this cloud goes the other way. But yeah, we're halfway around the route, well, over halfway now. The route I'd planned out this morning was just under 70k to, uh, to do our work of art out on the roads. Nice to get out in these uh, beautiful little lanes and some, some of which I've never ridden before as well. So that's been nice to get out here and explore some new roads. But uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on with the ride. Try and outpace this uh, rain cloud above me and I'll report back to you in a little while. About 10K to go now to finish off the route. And uh, yeah, so far we've managed to outrun the rain cloud, but uh, it's not looking fantastic. It looks like we might get a little drop of rain before we get back anyway, but yeah, what do you think? Odds on getting soaked before we get home. Here we are, sun shining again, and we've just finished off the loop to create our work of art out here today, the Big 500. And I uh, hope you enjoyed riding this route with me. A little celebration to uh, say thank you to all you guys for, for watching the videos and subscribing already. 500 subscribers seems like a relatively small milestone, but as I said at the start of the video, I really appreciate everyone that watches and enjoys the videos. Uh, for me, it's a little bit of fun, but it's always good to, to bring you guys some content. And as I say, I've got some exciting things lined up for the next couple of weeks. And if you haven't already, then please do subscribe to the channel. So this seems like a good place to end the video. All that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. Take care out there, guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.